Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to talk confidently. If you wanna learn how to speak with power and improve your charisma, this video is for you. This is gonna be a complete guide from the common mistakes I see most people make to how to command a room, to psychological tricks you can use to become more confident. And I promise you, if you stick until the end of this video and focus, you will become a better storyteller. I've spent hours researching the strategies and ideas in this video, so I really do hope you guys get lots of value from it. Now, without further ado, let's get straight to it. So first, let me tell you guys a little bit about my story. I did a lot of different things related to public speaking growing up. I was a national debater in high school. I did a TEDx talk before. I did a bunch of class council speeches, pitch startup ideas to investors, and I also performed music on a stage of a thousand people. Let me show you guys. I am going to be releasing my own single this year. <laughs> So at first glance, you would think that maybe I was just born naturally confident. But no, it didn't come that easy. I used to stutter a lot. I remember back in primary school, I had a bunch of stage fright and whenever I would get nervous, I would just start stuttering. But slowly, I practiced and learned some strategies along the way about public speaking and I became a better speaker. Now, it is not to say that I don't struggle with the occasional ums and us, but I've definitely gotten better as a speaker and I've learned a lot of important lessons along the way. So why is talking confidently important? The reason why is because when you can talk confidently with clarity, you gain access to so much more opportunities. You will feel that inner confidence where you can now network with CEOs more easily, for example, make more sales in your business, have better relationships with people, and you become a better storyteller to share your ideas with other people. It's definitely a high income skill to learn. And I'm going to share 10 simple tips and tricks you can use right now to level up your ability to speak well. The first tip is to talk slower. Now, one of the most common mistakes most people make is that they talk too fast and as a result, they stutter. By far, the easiest way to remove your stuttering is to slow down your speech. You start by having the foundation to speak slower with clarity and then you slowly work your way up if you don't speak faster, for example. It's not the other way around because when you speak slower, you have more control over your words. You can do things like emphasize words, which is harder to do if you're speaking so fast. You see what I just did? I emphasized the word emphasize, which gave it more power and meaning. And that's something you can try to practice and consciously do. Speak slower and you will sound more confident because you're not rushing to make a point, right? You're not trying to hold your piss or something like that, but you're speaking with a purpose and pros. Now, the second thing that you can do to speak more clearly and remove your stuttering is that the next time you have the urge to say something like um or uh or stutter, you replace that um with silence, with a pause. So instead of saying something like, hi, my name is Chad, um, I'm an entrepreneur. You say, hi, my name is Chad, I'm an entrepreneur. So the second your brain tells you that you want to stutter, you tell it to replace it with a pause instead. You tell it to replace it with a silence. It is much more powerful and it sounds way better. But the key here is that you need to be conscious about it because most likely if you're stuttering, it's a habit. And what you want to do is recreate and reform that habit such that your brain knows that instead of stuttering, just pause. And that's another powerful way to speak more clearly with confidence. Now, another way to condition your mind to speak more clearly is by reading books. Guys, I've read over 20 books this year from books about health, to books about psychology and business. And one interesting thing that I've learned from reading a book a week is that the more concise the sentences are, the more powerful the idea is and the more easy it is for me to understand that idea. So one way to sound more confident and to speak more clearly is to use shorter sentences. This also works the same way if you're using Twitter, for example. The shorter the tweet, the easier it is to catch your attention and the easier it is for you to understand a specific concept. So I highly recommend reading a book. If you're not reading books, then reading Twitter is also another great way to understand the topic of speaking concisely and you will become more clear in your words. Now, another great thing that you can do is to write down your ideas. This is perhaps one step above reading because now you're training your muscle memory and you can see with your eyes the mistakes you're making while writing. You can see, for example, if a sentence is a run along and you can manually correct them by splitting these sentences or adding things like punctuation. I personally practice my writing through journaling every two to three days and scripting these YouTube videos as well. And what I've learned is how to convey my ideas in a concise way for people to digest. And when you become a better reader, you naturally become a better writer. And when you become a better writer, you become a better speaker. And when you do these two habits, reading and writing, 
For a continuous period of time, you'll become a king at storytelling. You'll improve your vocabulary, have way better flow, and sound more authentic as well. And this will give you more confidence when you talk. Now, let's talk about the psychology and mindset that you should have to talk more confidently. And there are two really important mental frameworks that you can use. The first one is called the visualization method. And this method is very powerful. So basically what you do is before you're about to speak, let's say you're about to give a speech, you visualize yourself as someone else. Let's say you visualize yourself as Obama or someone you look up to who is a great public speaker. So before you say anything, you imagine that Obama is about to give the speech that you're giving right now. How is he gonna do it? What tone would he sound like? What sorts of words and phrases and pacing would he use? So the idea is that you wanna visualize yourself as somebody else, depending on the environment or topic. So let's say you're having a debate about finance and economics. Maybe you wanna visualize yourself as Tony Robbins or Ray Dalio or Elon Musk. And you speak in a way that is very logical and straightforward. Or let's say you're just about to interview someone in a podcast and you wanna sound confident. So you visualize yourself as Joe Rogan or Lex Friedman, very calm and insightful. Of course, this mental framework is just a quick fix, but in the long term, what you wanna do is try to find your authentic style and voice. And the way you develop the style is by practicing and recording your own voice. It also comes from the people you listen to online. So if you wanna try to become a better speaker, try to listen to people who speak well. And once you find your own style, make sure to own it. So the second mental framework is to talk less than necessary. I got this framework after reading The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene, which I believe is like the fourth law in the book. And the basic concept is that the more you talk, the more common you seem and powerful people impress by saying less. So in reality, being a better speaker sometimes means that you also need to be a better listener. And that's something I've learned over the past few years. Sometimes when you're in a room of CEOs and people, it's better to listen and to have the humility to learn from other people. Because you don't learn much from talking, but you learn a lot by listening. And by saying less while encouraging others to speak more, you come off as more interested in that person and are also more likely to trust you. So this is another psychological trick that you can use to implement in your next conversations. Talk less, listen more. Now let's talk about body language. Body language in itself is a very dense topic. And honestly, I could probably make another full guide if you guys are interested. But let's cover the three basics that you can implement right now because body language is very important. You can say a lot and exude confidence without verbally saying anything. So the first simple way to appear more confident when you're speaking is to smile. It doesn't have to be a large smile, but it's a type of smile that is authentic and exudes calmness and confidence in yourself. Be genuine with it. And the science behind why a smile works is that it activates the muscles in your face that tells the brain to release endorphins, which are the hormones that make you feel happier. And when you feel happier, you speak more clearly and calmly. So that's the first thing that you can do. The second thing that you can do is to use your hands. If you analyze some of the greatest public speakers, each of them have different styles with their hands. You look at how Obama speaks, for example. When he's trying to emphasize a point, he animates it with his hands. And his point is then emphasized as a result of that. And the idea feels more important. Now this one takes a little bit more practice. I used to not use hand gestures at all. And then at one point in my life, I used to use too much when I was debating competitively. But I've learned that you wanna use it in a way that feels balanced and that makes whatever you're saying more compelling and trustworthy. And the last thing that you can do is when you're speaking, stand up straight or sit up straight with good posture. And it's also a bonus if you already have a good physique because it symbolizes your hard work and discipline without you saying a word. The point is that if you stand up straight with a good posture, it opens up the hormones in the brain that makes you feel more self-assured and confident. And the science behind this is that having good posture actually opens up your chest cavity right here and it allows more oxygen to enter the body and brain, which then increases your energy. And when you have more energy, it is easier to talk in a way that is confident and clear. So how do you practice these things? Because without practice, you won't improve. I highly recommend that if you wanna improve your ability to speak well, you dedicate 10 minutes a day or an hour a week to do these two things. So the first practical thing that you can do is transcribe speeches on YouTube. So basically what you wanna do is search up some speeches or videos of people you really enjoy listening to, and you wanna transcribe those speeches on Google Docs or on a notebook if you so wish. And pay attention to their language, pay attention to how they structure their speech, and you can learn a lot from doing this. Now the second really cool thing you can do is to record yourself speaking. For me, back in the days when I was still debating competitively, I used to record myself giving speeches with the voice memos app. And I'll try to listen to things like my vocabulary, things like my pacing and the length of sentences. 
And that's how I learned things like how to speak with more clarity and how to structure my speeches. I'm not gonna lie guys, at first it may feel a little bit weird to hear yourself speaking, but over time, I promise you, you will not regret it because you truly learn a lot and you improve a lot along the way. And more recently, another way I'm practicing recording myself is by creating YouTube videos, just like the one you're watching right now. So if you're thinking to start a YouTube channel, I highly recommend it because you can also improve your ability to speak well. So there you have it guys. I truly believe that if you practice the key things in this guide, you'll become a better storyteller. If you guys enjoyed these videos and got any value from it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to be part of the family. My name is Colin and I really enjoy making these full guides and maybe in the future, I'm gonna make some vlogs as well. So make sure to stay tuned for it. God bless hustle, we're all gonna win one day and I'll see you in the next one.